YouTube. What's up, Stubbies? How you guys doing? It is June 6th. It is Sunday, and I realized I have not that yet done my May favorite video. Um, I actually had planned on not doing the video because I didn't really have any. Well, what it was, I did my April April favorites video, and in May I used a lot of the same things. I'm just having all kinds of problems. Man. I use a lot of the same products in May that I used in April. And so I didn't have a lot of things that changed. I didn't want to really come on here and lie and <laughs> say, ooh, ooh, try this, try this, or I use this, and it not be the truth. So today I was thinking about it, and I decided to go ahead and basically show you some of my favorites and some of the things that I use the most in May. So a lot of things didn't change, so I don't know whether to call this May favorites or May most used items. So <laughs> whatever whatever we call it, we're just going to go with it. Okay, so I'm going to do a combination of makeup and just some other things that I used a lot this month or something that, you know, something that I might have done this month. And I just want to show it to you, share it with you, okay? Okay. <sighs> as far as foundations, you guys know that I love my Iman. I said it a long time ago, but in May, I was sunburned, and I had to stop using the Iman because, you know, I had gotten so dark that I just couldn't get it to work. So, I started using my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW43, and so for May, it was like the foundation that I had to go to, um, so it just became my most used item in May, as you can see. Now, I didn't just hit tan in May. I had hit tan on this a long time ago. This is my, this is truly my go-to foundation. When nothing else works, my Studio Fix in NW43 works. So, it I don't have not. it on today. Today, I have on my black opal fluid. I'm hoping you can see it better. My natural light is a little bit better right now because I'm doing this in the daytime. But, yeah, this is my NW, this is my black opal liquid. I said fluid there. Liquid. And, um. Yeah, so it's June, y'all. That was May. This is June. <laughs> um, as far as eyeshadows, guys, um, I mentioned before that I have a lot of hip duos and I have a lot of NYX shadows, but I also have a Coastal Sense Palette, 88 Color Eyeshadow Palette. Now, it, it has a lot of colors, you guys, and I'm not going to lie, I don't always reach for this when I want to do a look. This was like one of the first things I purchased when I started wearing makeup. But this look that I have on my face right now, this eyeshadow, this is my um, most worn look. And I've face. been using, as you can see, this color, this color on my lid, this color in my crease, and this color in my the out outer corner, um, that one, and this color up here is my highlight. Mm, see if you can get a good. I've been wearing that like every day, so <laughs> that's my go-to eyeshadow for the month of May. So this has truly been a May favorite. That can really classify as a May favorite. And I'll probably carry that on um, to June. As far as lipstick, this is not this. <laughs> this is that uh, Rimmel product I showed you in another video. But for the month of May, my favorite lippy was MAC Viva Glam 6. <laughs> and that's this. This was my favorite. You can the brown on there, you guys, is the lip liner. I'm sorry, that's gross. I don't know, but that's um. This was my favorite lipstick color in Mac, and this was a special edition. So I don't know if they still have it, but yeah, I got this like in October of last year, and this was my May favorite. With that, I used my other May favorite Mac um, lip liner in current. I love this with anything pink. Any, like my girl about town, any of my pink lipsticks, my deep, pretty bright pink lipsticks, I like it with current. So, um, yeah, and then on top of that, I was wearing my Milani 3D Glitzy Glam in Fashion Diva. I put that on top of it. Now, this lip color that I have on right now, this is, I think that this is sure to be a June favorite. I'll let you know. Okay, as far as blush, I have on a little blush now. I don't know if you can really tell, but it's like a hint of pink. I always reach for this inexpensive, very inexpensive blush. 
And I have been told by more than one person that Wet n Wild is stepping their game up. So I will, I really want to go see if they change their packaging for their blushes. I haven't really been looking. Um, but this is my Wet n Wild blush. This is my favorite blush. Um, and it is in Heather Silk. And it is by Wet n Wild. And this is my favorite blush. Um, I reach for this a lot. I go for this pretty much anytime I wear a pink lip or a I don't know. Not even. I can't even really say that. I just reach for this. And also, I'm, you know, this is carried over from April. I wanted to show you guys this because in a previous video, I was doing my eyebrows and I didn't. I was out of this both of these, and um, I wanted to just give you guys. I wanted to show you in case you didn't go back and see it. But this is the powder that I use on my eyebrows, and this is the um, retractable pencil that I was talking about by NYX. Uh oh, by NYX, and um, you know these will probably always be your favorite. So I probably don't even need to mention that anymore. This is what I use to do my eyebrows, and they, these two products give me the best results for now. Um, CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume is still my favorite mascara. <laughs> so okay, so as far as beauty products and makeup and things like that, that's all of that. I wanted to show you guys something else. Um, since I got my kinky twist, um, you know, I wanted to have a product to spray on it, but that I could also spray in my roots that would affect my hair. One thing that my hair likes is uh, olive oil. My natural, I, my relaxed hair loves olive oil, um, so I used a lot of olive oil products on my relaxed hair, and my hair loved it. So I had decided that I was going to, when I, you know, was trying a lot of stuff when I was transitioning, while I'm transitioning, I wasn't really sure, but, you know, a friend of mine told me that if my relaxed hair liked olive oil, my natural hair would probably like it too. So, I don't know. I picked this up, olive oil conditioning spray by, um, by Palmer, and it's conditioning hair and scalp. Who is that? Okay, it says keeps braids soft and shiny. So, and it does work. I um I spray it on my braids, but then I go down and I spray it on my scalp and my roots. And it um, you know, I'm I'm hoping <laughs> I'll know when I take these out. I'm hoping that it's keeping my hair nice and moisturized. But I spray this on like daily, and um I like that. Okay, my most used perfume. That's right. I'm taking it there. I'm going all the way outside the box today. My most used perfume is um, by Usher. This is You Are by Usher. I don't know. And you guys, this is very nice. I really like this product. Um, it's so soft and subtle. And it's, I don't like real, real floral perfumes, but this, this is really, really nice. I just, I want to spin it so y'all can smell it. Oh. This is just heavenly. I love it. I just, this is really nice. I mean, if you don't buy it, just when you go to the store, when you go to the department store, just spray a little bit. Smell that. That's nice. That is home. Okay. Um, <laughs> and let, oh wait, my most worn thing. shoe was this black um, studded shoe. And I really enjoyed this shoe. I wore this shoe. These shoes I purchased in April. I didn't start wearing them till May, and I didn't wear them to school, <laughs> but I wore them pretty much any time I had a chance to get out with my girls or whatever, and um, I like this shoe. I love the peak toe. I love the studs. I love the heel. Um, they look really good with leggings, and they look really good. Yeah, when I wore my black leggings, they were off the chain, and when I wore... Skinny jeans, they look nice with skinny jeans too, and I like them better. I wanted to recommend a book to you guys. This is my this is my second time reading this book. It's a conversation, but I Neil found Harper. this book very informative. Okay, you know if you want to just see what men think of us, and you will laugh at the things that women said about men because you will find that a lot of the stuff you probably said, but it just kind of had me thinking, dog. You know, men actually think that about us. This is what men are thinking about so, black women. <laughs> Those are my May favorite slash May most used <laughs> items. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright you guys. Bye bye YouTube.